Hey folks, it's Murphy Bear Trucking, aka James Murphy. I am up here in Michigan, uh, 60 miles away from my drop. Gonna be dropping my load tomorrow um, morning. And then I'm trying to get a load to go back down to Texas. Um, now, I found a load. It's paying pretty good, folks. Um, going from Ohio down to Texas from Texas back to Ohio it's like a double deal type deal like it seemed like a dedicated load or something it goes down and it comes back right back you know and it pays you both ways to go down and back so it's like a double thing you know but you know it's not a they are starting to get so bad um when I first started here, folks, you could call Green Bay, which is second shift, out the hours. They used could help you. Now, you call if your load, active load, has no problems or nothing. They could even talk to you. And the problem I'm having about that load from Ohio down to Texas is, is that, um, it was supposed to have been picked up on the 10th or the 11th. Well, today's the 12th. It has to be dropped in Texas by the 13th or 14th, which is tomorrow or Tuesday. Okay, uh, it's over 1,200 miles down there. Over 1,200 miles. Okay, now, say I pick it up tomorrow. Okay, that's 600 tomorrow 600 on Tuesday but then you still have more miles after that to drive get on down there you got to count the deadhead miles from Michigan to Ohio so there's no way possible to get it down there by the live on load date and to make the live load pick up date because uh, both of them are like on the 14th uh, 13th to the 14th of the drop and the pickup is on the 14th and then you have to have it back in ohio by the 16th which has no problem you know you can get it back up there by the 16th you get loaded on the 14th drive the 14th 15th 16th it takes three days um to legally safely do it by the speed limit and all that you know get it back up there well folks this is the problem i'm having i called second ship and they said well since the load is not on your active work assignment, we can't help you. I'm like, well, I want to book this load on Crossroads, but it's not, you know, I can't book it because of the appointment times. And they're like, well, we can't work with you on that because that's not our job. Our job is to help emergency related issues. You know, it used to be back in the day when I first started, they would help you. They would help try to contact customer service somehow. They would help you try to change the load times, the appointment times, just so you can make that revenue to make your truck payments. Just remind you folks, I have over a thousand dollar truck payment now. My truck payment, literally, no joke, is $1,019 a week a week that's what my truck payment is now they have raised it to a thousand nineteen dollars a week and I'm trying my best to make the revenue I'm trying my best to like pick these loads but the way they got the load board now is you have to pick up a load this week it drops next week with you picking it up this week and dropping next week, that means you could not make a truck payment this week. That means the truck payment rolls over to next week. Okay. Now, that load drops next week, so that load will cover that week's truck payment. Also, remember, next week, it's a new week. So you have another truck payment next week. So you have to do another load that next week which again you run into the same problem you pick up a load you drop it to next week 
So then that week's truck payment rolls over. And then they start adding on these late charges, the late fees, stuff like that. I'm just getting real tired of it. I mean, it's just, I mean, it, I don't know what to do, folks. I really don't. Um, I mean, this basically kind of like my dream I wanted to do was run my business. But the way they have it set up, it's kind of impossible to live my dream out, you know, and the only way to possibly live my dream out in the trucking business is somehow, some way, to come up with $100,000 just to pay the truck off to Schneider. If I pay the truck off to Schneider, I make a monthly payment to a bank. Therefore, Schneider can't mess with me with the loads because with me paying Schneider Finance the money, and Schneider's giving me the loads, you can put one and one together because Snyder knows when you're behind so Snyder does that to make you more behind just so they can tackle on the late fees just so they can make some more money off of you and they raise your truck payments and you know it's it's starting to get crazy folks um you know I'm just a young guy about to be 25 next month you know um i thought i would be more happier than what i am now with this career that i chose right here i, I mean i was happy being a company driver because i was making the money but i don't want to work for a company driving their trucks when you're driving their trucks you're paying for their truck i wanted to work for a company but in the meantime owning my truck so that's what I'm basically doing is I'm working still working for the company of Snyder but I'm trying to own my truck and it's making it hard on me because the company's not paying me the money that I need to pay out to the truck so I can bring money home and you know feed the family uh, you know buy stuff at the house pay my car loan you know i'm about to lose my challenger my challenger is two months behind now due to this because i have not made a paycheck a good paycheck in two months i've only made one paycheck that's 500 bucks in two months there you go just two months out here working i've only made one paycheck 500 dollars that's because the loads picked up that same week, dropped that same week. That's how I got the $500. It's just it's, it's, it's just a hard time for me out here. Um, I mean, I'm basically trying to do it the same way the other guys are doing it. But, you know, at the meantime, it's just that every time I make a, a paycheck, like a $500 paycheck, it starts back over again, you know. It, it's just it's starting to be a real struggle out here folks you know so it's kind of like a survival thing out here you know you have to survive out here to live but you know if anybody wanting to be an owner operator you know i hope hopefully you'll get to watch this video right here and if i was you i would definitely try to go through a bank get the bank to pay for a truck that's what i should have done you know, that's why I done the one year lease starting off with Schneider to test it out, trial run, see if you like it. I love running my business, but I don't love not making a paycheck. I don't love not being able to go home, see my family. You know, that's you know, that's the hard part. Is to be a trucker you gotta stay away from your family. Especially if you're over the road driver and you know you want to see your family one day I want to have kids I want to get married but right now I don't see that possible because if I'm gonna be a father to a child if I'm gonna be a husband to my wife I want to be there I want to be there for them I want to be there for my kids. I want them to have that father to look up to. I want them to be like, Daddy, let's go fishing. Daddy, let's go ride bikes. Daddy, let's... 
I want to be that type of father of taking my sons, my daughter, wh who, whatever gender gender I have, you know, son, daughter. Uh, I really do want a son though, because I want to name him James Wayne Murphy the fourth. But if I have a daughter, um, whoever my wife is at, at the time, will name the girl, because I don't really do good for girl names. Um, which, you know, I'm pretty sure Britt Britt's going to be my wife. Um, I already know it, because, you know, Britt Britt and me has been together for almost nine months. This is the longest relationship I've ever had with a girl. The longest relationship I've ever had was always six months. After six months, the the relationship vanished. So I am so lucky and glad to have Britt Britt still standing beside me. She knows I'm going through a lot of stress right now. And so she's standing by me, standing beside me, going through this with me. Helping me out with the stress I'm going through. So, um, I appreciate you, Britt Britt, and I love you. Hopefully you get to watch this video this far to see me say this to you. I love you. Um, but yeah, if we, if I do have a daughter, if we have a daughter, uh, I'm gonna let her name the, the girl. I just don't know what to name a girl. I just know if I have a son, I want him to be the fourth. So hey, when I do start my trucking business one day, or... Or I do a career in Hollywood. You know, who had the same name as his dad. Um, either if I'm in Hollywood or running my business out here. But I am going to be famous one day. And I'm not turning back from that. I'm going to be famous. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody could think about me. But I am going to be famous one day. And I'm going to keep working towards it. But anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because, again, my minutes are running low on the memory here. It's a sucky phone. Sucky, sucky phone. But, you know, that's all I can afford right now. It's a cheap Walmart mobile prepaid $50 a month phone. You know, I, I can't afford a contract phone. I can't afford any top dollar high gadget phones. It's just one of them little small touch screen prepaid phones you can buy for like 40 50 bucks you know it's not a cheap phone not expensive phone i mean um you know it's just a phone to help me get my loads stuff like that you know um i just wish i can actually do better in my life and you know get the things i really want in life but i'm working for it and i'm gonna earn it one day and when I do earn it, I'll be more appreciated of what I have and what I've earned. But I'm going to keep going, going for it. Whichever way the Lord takes me in the direction he wants me to go, I'll take that direction. If he wants me to do Hollywood, I'll do Hollywood. If he wants me to do this trucking career, I'll do this trucking career. It's just whichever way he wants me to really turn to and go for but anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I only got one more minute, for real, though. I only got one more minute left on my memory. I was just trying to give you a warning a minute ago, um, a couple seconds ago, about uh, the memory running low. But anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because this is getting ready to really run out. But anyway, folks, this is Murphy Bear Trucking. I'm over and out. Well, always remember, stay safe, God bless, and I will keep you updated on the trucking life out here in the Murphy Barrel. Murphy Bears world. Alright folks, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.